Oh, Barbara, your little thing just <laughs> I takes love the, the cake. Yeah. It's my moment to shine. I love it. <laughs> wow. I love it when we get together and jam, you guys. It's so much fun. Yeah, that was great. It's like our little yearly tradition. I know. I still love it. I love the Christmas season, especially when it gets closer to Christmas and you get around all of those beautiful lullabies. Um, one of my favorite Christmas songs is uh, Silent Night because when I was 16, my grandfather died on Christmas Day. So on Christmas Eve, me and my cousins went to say our goodbyes and we prayed the Chaplet of Mercy around his bed. And I, I brought my harp with me um, to just play him some Christmas carols um, as he was dying. And um, I left the room and he called me back in the room. He kept saying, harp, harp. So I, I sat down and I played Silent Night for him. So that was the last... Um, thing I was able to do for him. So because of that, uh, Silent Night is one of um, my most treasured Christmas carols. Silent Night is really special to our family too because my grandparents grew up speaking German as their first language, but during World War II it became really unpopular to speak German in the US, so they lost most of it. But the last several years, whenever we play Christmas carols as a family, we'll sing Silent Night in German, Stille Nacht. And even though they're 91 and 97, they still remember the words. Wow. And it's really special for all of us. That is really special. Maybe that should be the next song we do. Should we do Stille Nacht? Mary, you want to take it away? Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Go for it.
Silent Night is one of our favorite songs to sing to the kids while they're going to bed, which it's almost that time now. It's getting late, right, Alepia? Um Yes. He agrees. <laughs> but uh, what are you guys looking forward to now that your little one's on the way? Well, I think because we both grew up in such different cultures, I think one of the things I'm looking forward to the most is just kind of blending our two cultures together. So the Mexican culture and, and me and my, my background as well. Speaking of cultures, why don't we do a song with a little bit of a cultural flair? Like a little Latin yeah. flair? Yeah. Oh, I like it. Why don't we do a samba? Samba? Yeah. Okay. Samba okay, well, sounds good. Kiddos, can you say goodnight? Say goodnight, everybody. Goodnight. Good night. Good night. Okay, let's go say goodnight to baby Jesus. Night. Come say goodnight to baby Jesus. I say goodnight. Here. Can you give him a little kiss? So sweet. When I was a little girl, like your age, we would put the empty manger out at the beginning of Advent. And every time we did something kind for people, we would put a piece of hay in. And if we did something unkind, we'd take a piece of hay out. And our goal was to have the manger full of hay to be warm and soft for baby Jesus on Christmas Day. And then when we got home from Mass, we'd put baby Jesus in the manger. And it reminded us that every time we do something to someone else, it's also doing it to Jesus. All right, say goodnight, baby Jesus.
reminds me of? The Posadas. Remember how when I was pregnant with Moisito, oh, I got yeah. to play the Virgin Mary in the Posadas. And Barbara, you get to this year. Yeah, you know, and I know you can relate. It's something so special about expecting, well, uh, for an a the Advent season. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you just get to walk in, in Mary's shoes and in even just the most little and humble way. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, I definitely remember just being pregnant during Advent for the first time and thinking, Wow, Christmas is so much more real now, you know, that we have our own little ones and peacefully asleep now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I love that Mexican tradition of Posada is going around from door to door, seeking room at the inn mm -hmm. um, and feeling what they felt, Mary and Joseph, not mm. finding room at the inn and how we need to find room for the Christ child in our hearts. Mm. You know, as a Mexican, Posada is definitely uh, hold a very, very special place. Um, but one thing I've learned is that uh, there's a lot more to posadas than just making space for the tamales. You know? <laughs> uh, like you said, definitely making space, not just in our stomachs, but in our hearts for Jesus and, and for his coming into our yeah. lives. Should we do one more? Yeah. How about a holy night? Oh, holy night. That sounds oh, good. Yeah, that's a good yes. one. Mary, remember all those midnight masses with the holy night? Oh, yeah. <laughs> because <laughs> somebody made us stay up till 3 a.m. to impress their future in laws. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you remember that video oh, we sent you? At 3 o'clock in the morning after midnight mass <laughs> when we were dating and we recorded our songs and sent them over. Yeah, that was awesome. All right, shall we? Let's do it. Let's do it. i 
That was a great song to end with. So I think we're probably gonna have to call it a night, it a night for now. And until next time, let's do it again soon. Yeah, yeah. all right. Sounds good, good, guys. <laughs> good seeing you, bro. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Thanks for jazzing. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>